It's 2024, we're gonna talk about trends. Let's get into it. Twenty twenty four. If you're looking to revamp your closet for the spring summer, this is the video for you. I'm gonna be going over some trends that we can wear, and also sharing some brands at different price points for you if you need some shoppable options. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi. If this is your first time watching, this is Styled by Glam. When it comes to the trends, I'll be focusing on trends that is actually wearable for everyday outfits. Personally, as much as I love trends, I. I do believe having wearable fashion and building a closet that has longevity. I always say never just chase after trends, incorporate it in a way that you know you can wear every day and make it your own is very important. All right, again, I have my laptop here because I made notes and I wanna make sure I go through every trend correctly, share the right brands with you as well. We're gonna go over the trends first and then I will go over listing out different brands that I think is suitable for you to check out that you can easily create a wearable closet that will have longevity and give you options to style various outfits with my number one rule in every purchase is make sure I can at least see myself styling it three different ways and that's what I'm trying to aim for when sharing these brands and trends to you guys and before moving on I do have to do some housekeeping if you haven't already I would love for you to join me on this channel if you enjoy lifestyle as well as vlog type of content this is what i post on this channel and i hope you will give this channel a subscribe as well as hit that bell for future alerts also for tiktok and instagram i usually post on there on an everyday basis sharing beauty tips as well as fashion tips outfit ideas and i would love for you to join me over there as well and if you do don't be shy and say hello all right going in to the very first trend First up, we have classic styling. Some may call it old money, some may call it quiet luxury. I call it just classic styling. Pieces that are classic that will never go out of style is timeless. You can't go wrong with these pieces in your closet. The reason I really like this trend is because it's really reverting back to the basics, which is the first thing I always tell people if they have a hard time building their closet. I always say, do you have good basics? As much as you guys think I have a lot of clothes, I actually have a handful of go-to silhouettes it's usually once I know I really like the fit I make sure to actually stock up on them for example a good t-shirt a good pair of denim a good pair of pants if they have it in multiple colors you'd be surprised how many duplicates I have in my closet but because there's such good basics nobody really notices it that I'm wearing the same thing over and over again and these pieces are usually very versatile I can style it multiple ways and that's why nobody again notices I'm literally wearing the same piece that way not only will save you on your wallet and your budget and it's way less wasteful so yes classic styling is definitely in and it's time to invest in some good pieces the next trend kind of correlates back to the classic styling and complements it which is the monochromatic trend where you wear all black all white and you'll be surprised this summer spring summer actually all black which i'm currently wearing is going to be trending i know we think black is for the winter time but this time it's going to trickle over into spring and summer and i have no complaints whatsoever because i love the monochromatic look it can easily elevate your outfit it's a no-brainer outfit to put together because all you're doing is pulling all the same color together and even if you have no idea how to style an outfit you would be able to style this look 
The next trend is a little bit more, I think, Y2K inspired, and it may or may not suit everybody, but you can always play around and see how you can style it and find ways to incorporate it into your closet. However, I think if you find the more minimalist look to it, these pieces can become classic pieces in your closet. It's not necessarily a one-off trend. The trend I'm talking about is drop waist tops and dresses. As you guys remember, back in Y2K, we wore a lot of a longer length tops and dresses that would have a drop waist. This is definitely coming back and I can see this worn with wider leg pants will make a really cute combo and it's actually quite comfortable to wear. And in comparison, I think this might be easier to incorporate into your closet in comparison to the crop top trend that has been with us for a while now. So now we're switching it over to the longer length drop waist look. I don't hate it. I'm actually excited to switch it up. Next is another trend that I would say is more on the classic end depending on what type of pieces you purchase. The trend is lace and sheer fabric tops or dresses. For tops, I think it's easier to incorporate for everybody because you can easily layer it. You don't have to wear it on its own. For the dresses, it can look more dressy, so it might be more of an occasion thing, but if the right silhouette, it can become a classic body that you can easily wear anytime you have the occasion for a cocktail party or maybe a little bit more formal dinner to wear out, and it's a beautiful option to have in the closet it as well. And the last trend that I think is going to be very wearable and it has more to do with shoes is slingback pumps. And I'm loving the fact that they're coming back. And I see it across the board in a lot of the luxury brand shoes that I love. And also even in the Matir more contemporary brands, I see a lot of great options as well. The reason I love slingback pumps is you can wear it with denim, you can wear it with a dress, depending on the different heel heights and depending on how the front of the shoe looks. There's multiple versatility to it and it's just a great shoe classic shoe to have in your closet so those were my top five wearable trends in the list of trends from 2024 those are my focus trends that for myself personally that I can see myself wearing every day and incorporating it and adding some pieces into my closet if needed. There are some items in my closet that already fits the trends. That's also why I, I think they're very wearable. And from here, let's go on to some brands. If you need some shoppable options, these, in my opinion, are great brands to take a look. I'm gonna go through them from the lower cost to the mid-tier cost and then to the luxury brands that I feel like is worth investing in and great options for for you to check out. First up, it's a very popular chain brand, Aritzia. However, I'm not talking about their general clothes. I don't really shop their general clothing because I do think they're slightly overpriced based on their quality. I'm sorry, Aritzia. <laughs> I am just being very honest because I feel like sometimes their pricing, the same pricing, I can get a better quality at another brand. However, I do love their basics over there, especially the basics by Sunday Best. Those are some of my favorite, favorite basics to purchase from. They have really good tees and tanks. If you need a longer sleeve or you need a crop length or longer length, or if you need seamless, all those are available under Sunday Best. Their pricing is very reasonable and depending on the season, they will also go on sale and it will make it really, really affordable. So it's a great option to look into if you're looking to fill in some of the good basics for your closet. Next, another brand that I love for good basics is called OGL Move. This actually is one of my 
favorite go-tos for tank tops, for camis, and also for tube tops. They're usually also lined with a internal bra cup, makes it amazing and easy to wear. You don't even need to add underwear, which is great. The cami that I bought from them literally is one of the most asked, where did you get that cami on my TikToks? So it's definitely another great option to look into for basic pieces. Next, for dresses at the affordable price range, I have two brands for you. One is Princess Polly, and the other is what I'm wearing is from Rio West. Both of these, the price range are very reasonable, and I love the fit of their dresses. They fit really nicely and very true to size, but again, check out their size chart and make sure you look at the measurements that works for you. For me, at least, they run very true to size. Princess Polly is Especially every time I wear a dress from them, I get so many compliments. I don't usually purchase anything else from them. I usually just focus on the dresses. Rioas as well, I mainly focus on the dresses. They have a lot of very Parisian looking styles, very European looking styles. It's almost like a more affordable version of Reformation and that's why I love them. And there's a lot of, lot of dress styles that you can check out. These two, if you're looking for dresses, is definitely a good one to look at. Now, if you love Zara or even the more contemporary looks like the Frankie Shop, Source Unknown, which are the brands that I'm going to recommend later for the mid-tier price range, these two brands would be a really good choice for you to check out. The first one is The Commence. I actually did a collab with them recently on TikTok and they sent me six different styles from them. And I have to say the quality, the fit, all really really good i was pleasantly surprised by them and they are not sponsoring me on this video to talk about them i simply think for their price range and the quality they definitely worth mentioning and the other one is a purchase that i made on my own as well it's from Peril. One of the coats that I recently purchased from them is so, so good. The quality, the fit, and every time I wear it, I always get compliments on it as well. They're definitely a brand that I'm gonna keep checking back and keep purchasing from. Starting with basics, if you're looking for good basic silhouettes, clean lines, solid colors, these two brands would be a really great option to check out. And these brands are Dish and The Line by K. They have a similar vibe, I want to say, but I really love their silhouettes. And I think Dish has more like sweater-like styles, knitwear, and the Line by K has more dress styles that are in very sleek looking silhouettes. They're definitely on the more contemporary price range, but I do think they have more of a design element in comparison to the brands that I mentioned previously on the lower price range. For coats and jackets, these two are probably very popular and a lot of people has heard of them. The Source Unknown and the Frankie Shop. I feel like Source Unknown is a little bit of a copy of the Frankie Shop. I wouldn't say exact copy, but they're going off the same vibes. The oversized coat and the heavier wool fabrics, especially for the winter time. But I love them both. I've purchased from both and I think their quality both wise are really good and if you're looking to invest in a coat or a blazer these two brands are worth checking out as well when it comes to dresses this one was a brand that i kind of found when i was in paris they also specializes in sweater knit they have a lot of cashmere sweaters and cardigans so it's worth checking that category out from them as well and the brand is from future they are a parisian brand and i made two dress purchases from them and they're really great fit beautiful dresses they are silk dresses if you're looking to invest a little bit more in the price range i want to say it ranges around like 200 something it is slightly more higher priced but you do get better quality Now for shoes, of course I'm going to mention a mid-tier shoe brand, actually two brands because we can't always afford luxury shoes left and right. These brands are my go-to when I need some additional options to add to my closet and they're good quality shoes. The first one is Scots. I love them 
I love them for their boots. They're so comfortable. This is one of the brands that I literally tell everybody about. I have several pairs of boots from them at this point and I definitely plan on purchasing more. <laughs> the other brand that I want to talk about is Tony Bianco. They have a lot of cute mule, which is one of the trends that I talked about and they have a lot of great options. It almost looked like vintage Prada, vintage Dior, vintage Chanel Muse, but at a budget friendly price. So definitely check them out. They also sell them on Revolve or you can go to their official website and they'll have all their style options. All right, last but not least, let's talk about luxury brands. I'm just going to go through the two right now that I really, really love. You probably it's luxury brand, so you probably know of the brand. I'll give you a reason why to I think these two brands right now is worth purchasing. The first one is Prada. I think their pricing is really reasonable for luxury purchases. Their bags range from 2000 something to if a bigger bag, maybe 3000 closer to 4000 versus let's say a Chanel bag, even a mini bag would cost you two thousand something dollar which is to me as much as i love chanel i think it's a little bit ridiculous in terms of their price point on top of that prada focuses on classic silhouettes and a lot of their designs you can use season after season they do not change the look every season and it won't look outdated so once you make that investment of a purchase you can probably wear it for years and that's why i also really love prada the other luxury brand that i'm going to talk about mainly for shoes is Giovito Rossi. You guys know I love that brand. I've talked about it before. I've shared it on my TikTok. I have several pairs of shoes from them and they are so comfortable. They're a shoe focused brand so you know they make good quality shoes but they also do really great sale and for luxury brand shoes you can get them at two three hundred dollars if you purchase at the right time so definitely check them out if you have a pair that you really like keep an eye out and see if you can get it while it's on sale because then the price usually drops at least by 50 percent and that is all for today's video thank you guys for joining me i hope you enjoy my 2024 trends and also the brands that i shared with you let me know if you have any questions about any of the brands feel free to leave your comments below if you haven't already it would really help me out if you you can give this video a thumbs up and that is it thank you again i will see you guys on the next video